Welcome back to Onyx Financial Track. This is Ultimate Academy Steam, and in this lecture, we're going to start a new module, which is Customer System. And by the way, this is the last module that we're going to have in Onyx Pro. And this module is divided into two systems, Accounts Receivable and Sales Management. We will start with the Accounts Receivable. As usual, we will begin by going through the setup. So the first screen that we have is Accounts Receivable Parameters. As you can see here, the screen is divided into four tabs, or it contains four tabs. Accounts Receivable, Parameters, Advanced Options 1, 2, and 3. Let's go ahead and open up the first tab, Accounts Receivable Parameters. Click on Modify to be able to edit and enter new settings. Customer Code Length. This determines the number of digits that the customer code will consist of. Customer Code Type. Uh, it's either going to be numeric or alphanumeric. Date generation, three options. System generated modifiable, manual, and system generated not modifi modifiable. Then we have the checkbox allowed to use deleted document number. This allows the system to reuse the reference number of documents after they've been deleted. That, of course, is in case we activate this variable. Then we have the variable fixing data. So if we activate this one, then the system will fix the main data in the transactions. To explain that a bit better, um, if you add a transaction and then you add a new one without actually closing the screen, then the system will import uh, into the new transaction the main data from the previous transaction. Use discount per items. Activating this variable will add a column in the transaction screens uh, which enables the user to add a separate discount per item. Fixing pricing level for customer. If we activate this variable, then we're linking a specific customer to a specific pricing level, which we cannot change in the transactions unless we disable this variable. This pricing level will be fixed throughout all the sales transactions, by the way. Use sales invoice by outgoing stock. Here we will be unable to issue um, a sales invoice unless we have a warehouse dispatch. Use free quantity, quantity. So activating this variable opens up two new fields. The first one is post free quantity to free quantity account. And the second field is sales free quantity types. Uh, use free quantity itself allows the user to deal with free quantity in the transactions with the customers. The first field post free quantity to free quantity account means that the system will post the value of these free quantity to a dedicated account uh, for that, uh, which we will basically determine. Sales free quantity types contains 11 types. And uh, these types basically just determine the way you give out the free quantity. For example, if we select by item, then we're giving out free quantity from a specific item that we will choose. Or let's say that we will deal with it per customer, then we can select a customer that is eligible for receiving free quantity. Use multi warehouses. If you activate this variable, then you can perform more sales transactions through more than one, one warehouse. Mandatory determine reference number. Enter description mandatory. We're already familiar with these two. Automatically add fraction into discount in sales invoice. So in case we're creating a sales invoice and we have a fraction in the total, if you activate this variable, then the system will automatically take the fraction of the invoice and adds it as a discount. Post sales revenues by net value. Um, here we're posting the net revenue of the sales after taking off the discounts. Show description per item. This adds a column in the transaction screens where the user can put in a description for each item. Not showing item discount percentage automatically in invoice. Here the system will show us the value of the discount, not the actual percentage. Now showing items free quantity percentage in invoice. Same idea, but this is obviously for the free quantity. Return items to the same sale warehouse. If you activate this variable, then your customers or clients cannot actually uh, return any purchases except at the warehouse they bought it from. Use job order. 
This links uh, the sales to the production. And if you activate this variable, the system opens up two new fields, use receipt vouchers and work order sequence. If you activate use receipt voucher, then a new screen comes up to enable the user to directly uh, receive from the production to the sales. As for word uh, work order sequence, either a cumulative or by type, connect with GL or general ledger, multi-account or group account. This field is concerned with how to link the customer to the accounts. Uh, Multi-accounts means that we will create a new account for each single customer. Group account means that we can link a bunch of customers all together to a single account. Decimal points, this one is obvious. It's the number of decimal points throughout the account's uh, receivable system. Customer sequence type, by group, by general, by group and type. This tells the customer how, the system, I'm sorry, how to sort uh, your customers. Document sequence, system generated modifiable, manual or system generated not modifiable. Number of discount, four choices in the drop down menu, not one, two, and three. Uh, this determines if we're given out discounts for our customers, and if we do, then how many discounts can we give? Cost center type, not use, single, and multi. Not use means you're not using a cost center at all. Single means the transaction will reflect on a single cost center that we will determine. And multi means that we can select several cost centers in the transaction. Sales invoice sequence, 10 options. And this just determines how the system will give the invoices a sequence. Sales return sequence is the same thing. Sales invoice additional discount sequence uh, sales invoice, additional discount request sequence, quotation sequence, and sales order sequence, all of these fields contain the same two options, a cumulative or by type. A VAT calculation method by price or price minus discount. So price means that the VAT is calculated based on the total. Minus discount means that the system will calculate the VAT according to the net price. All right, so moving on to the second tab, Advanced Options. All right, so the first field is Determine Invoice Number for Previous Year Mandatory. If we activate this variable, we'll get a new field in the Sales Invoice screen to record the invoice number for the previous year. You can activate this variable if it is uh, compatible with your policy. Use Sales Return Without Determine Invoice Number. If we activate this variable, then we can process a return without having to specify the sales invoice number. Post sales representative commission in sales invoice. If we activate this variable, the system will post uh, the sales representative's commission when you post the actual invoice. Use standby. This will bring up the checkbox in the transaction screens, uh, standby. And through this checkbox, you can actually put the whole transaction on hold. Paid installments manually. This one means that this one means that we can um, pay the client's installments manually through a screen related to this process. Check credit limit and credit period in sales order. If you activate this variable, then before you make a sale, you can check the credit limit and period. Exceed quantity of sales order in sales invoice. If you activate this variable, then you can actually uh, sell a quantity larger than the one that came in the sales order. And it means that if we issue a sales invoice installed from a sales order, then we can actually add on the quantity that came on that sales order. Connect invoice with a previous invoice. This opens up a field in the sales invoice screen called previous invoice, where we can enter an invoice reference number uh, that was for the very same customer or any invoice number that we would like to link to this invoice. Use quantity of purchase order in sales order. Here we can use the quantity that came in the purchase order in the sales order by using the option uh, install from purchase order. All right, so then we have uh, use sale invoice as point of sale. And if we activate this one, then 
the system will consider each invoice a point of sale. Show payment screen in sales invoice. Uh, this variable, um, basically activating it, the system will add an icon in the header of the sales invoice screen. Uh, and by header, my, by the way, we mean this bar right here. All right. So um, when you click on that icon, it will direct you to the payment screen. Representative code, uh, region collector, driver, return reason, and due date. Um, and due date mandatory entered uh, in sales invoice. This means that if you activate any of these variables, the information in that variable will be, will be required in the sales invoice for it to be processed. And you cannot save the transaction unless you enter that info. Enter customer telephone number mandatory for cash invoice. If the customer is paying in cash, then you got to enter their phone number. Mandatory enter customer name in sales invoice. That one is self-explanatory. Install additional uh, discount from additional discount request mandatory. This means that we cannot put an additional discount unless we've created an additional discount request. Mandatory connect customer with collector. Here we will um, basically link a specific customer to a specific collector. Connect customer with multi collectors. Same idea, but here we can link the customer to more than one collector. Method of fill prices from customer order to sales invoice. In the drop down menu, we have the options fill sales order price, which means that we will use the sales order price in the sales invoice. Fill default price means that we will use the default price of the item itself regardless of the sales order price. The third option is don't fill sales order price. This means that it will not add a price and we can in the sales invoice enter a specific price for the item. Show additional fields in details. The options are not use, one field, two fields or three fields. Uh, the entire field just determines the number of additional fields in the table or the detailed data. Duplicate item in sales. No, yes with alert. Um, I'm sorry, yes without alert and yes with alert. This means that you can duplicate the item in any sales transaction, either with an alert or without, or you can even turn that option off. Sales charge type uh, per item, not use, items, items and customer class, items and customer group and customer invoice type. This determines how the system uh, will add a charge in the sales transaction. Credit limit by customer or by customer and cost center. Uh, these are the credit limit methods. How exactly are we creating the credit limit or based on what? The customer or the customer and the cost center altogether. Use sales return request, not use, optional and mandatory. Not use means that we do not need a return request to be processed uh, to process a sales return. Optional, we can create a request or not. And mandatory means that uh, we have to create a sales return request to go ahead with the sales return. Then we have use medical insurance system. And this one is used by medical insurance companies so they can enter their clients and suppliers data. Show item description. This means that the system will show you the item description in the sales transaction printing. Return free quantity per invoice sales uh, return. Activating this variable means that if we're processing a return for an invoice that includes free quantity, then the free quantity as well has to be returned. Show item size, weight and quantity in sales invoice. These are pretty obvious. Show barcode in transaction screens. Now, if you activate this variable, then in the transaction screens, the system will give you a field where you can enter the barcode. Show sales representative commission per item in sales invoice. This variable adds a column in the sales invoice screen to show the representative code per item. Show the list of units uh, automatically in sales operations. Once we're working on a sales transaction, Onyx will automatically show you um, the measurement unit per item without you having to select it. 
fill the sales discount for items in the case of discount promotion. If we activate this variable then uh, and we have an ongoing promotion, then we can add a discount on top of the promotion. Use donations in sales invoice. That is, in case you accept donations, the system gives you a field in the sales invoice to enter the, the donations. Use booking dates in sales order. This gives you a field um, in which you can enter the expiry date of the booking you have on specific items, and this is in the sales order screen. Use of concrete requests. This is related to real estate development companies. Now that's it for this lecture. In the next lecture, we will discuss the remaining two tabs we have on the screen. Thank you guys for watching and we will see you again.